everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in once again to my returning subscribers i hope you're all doing great today and to those who are new here my name is mc i'm into luxury fashion lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in this kind of topics then don't forget to subscribe turn that red bell on for new videos so today i'm going to do my unboxing <laughs> of my first Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry. It's, uh, well, later you, you're you going to see it, but you know, I've always wanted a necklace from VCA, but we do not have one a store in the country, in the Philippines. So when I went for a vacation in Tokyo, Japan, I took the chance to get one, particularly this piece that I really love in the Gyoshe line. I bought it from a VCA boutique in Ginza. It's a luxury shopping district in Tokyo. I'm sure some of you are familiar with this place. And I was really, really happy that I have, that they have a stock when I came. I wanted to take some video clips inside the store, but you know, the SA told me that it isn't allowed. So I felt a bit disappointed but I still got what I came for. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and unbox. The SA also gave me some chocolates. La Maison du Chocolate Paris, which is nice. Let's open one. Mm. Looks yummy. Mm. So guys, here it is, the VCA Van Cleef and Arpels paper bag. Like I mentioned, I'm really, really excited because this is my first piece from the brand. I'm going to speed up though because I'm sure you're already tired with unboxing videos. And you came here to see what I got. So... The booklet with the documentations, of course. We have there the certificate of authenticity. It's really, really a nice packaging. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see because of the light, but later I'm going to take some photos for you to see it up close. The receipt. And another receipt. Now, how about that, guys? I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on this. Oh, cute packaging. So let's open it up right away and it says here Van Cliff and Arpels with a logo. Are you ready? Ta-da! Oops. <laughs> this is what I got. This is the vintage Alhambra Guilloche necklace in yellow gold. It obviously has one signature pendant, which I prefer because I wanted a necklace that I can wear every day and layer with other necklaces as well without worrying too much about scratches. I used to like the Onyx Mother of Pearl or the Malachite because they look very feminine and girly. But a lot of people have them already. They're very, very popular, especially in the past or even today. And I want something different but 
feminine as well so i chose the guilloche which is this one i feel that this is a lot easier to maintain than the others so let me show you up close it's really really beautiful actually the sa who assisted me at the time asked me to choose between the box and uh, jewelry pouch which is a, a tiny one but i chose the box because it's, this is the original packaging of course and i was like why could they not just give me both that pouch and this box but they said it's their store policy before i try this on let me just mention that this necklace is adjustable it has two settings by the way you can wear it in the long or short settings I also plan to use this with my other short necklaces like the Cartier the Amour I have right now. I hardly take this off. And let me show you also the chain. Of course, you can wear this on its own because the pendant is not too small, not too big near the clasp. There's also a tiny like flat bar if you can see it. Really cute. So this is the long setting, which is not really long. <laughs> I think this is 17, if I'm not mistaken. And um, you can see how shiny the pendant is, as well as the chain. The laser cut design on the pendant shines with the light. So it's really shiny and it looks like it's a, a stone, but it's actually not. It's full gold. I feel that I will be using this uh, more than the mother of pearl, onyx or malachite. I love the size. It's not like I mentioned, the pendant is not too big, not too small. It's perfect for everyday wear. It looks really, really nice. I love it. Let me show you how it looks in the short setting as well. So this is in the short setting. I personally don't like it this way. I prefer it in the long setting. So it really is great to have options and wear it different ways depending on your outfit. You can even uh, add more links to make it longer. The SA told me that they can add some more, weight, uh, some more length to the chain if I want to, but it means I have to go back after two weeks in Japan, which is not possible for me. So I just said no. Anyway, I'm glad that I now have it in my collection. It is unique, dainty, and versatile piece. It is worth purchasing, I believe. The price of this necklace is a lot more expensive than the stoned Alhambra pendants. But the good thing about the guilloche is its durability. You don't have to take it off when you shower or sleep. The price was... I forgot. But I'm just going to put it in the description box below or somewhere up here for your convenience if you're interested. That is before tax, of course. It's pricey but worth the purchase. I would also love to buy the five motifs a bracelet to match this necklace in the future. But I did order a matching earrings which I am looking forward to receiving a few weeks from now. They didn't have available uh, in stock when I went there. I forgot to mention the beads, which I really, really love. It's all around the pendant. It's all around the pattern, which is clover leaf. So let me know what your thoughts are about this purchase in the comment section below if you like it or if you already have it in your collection so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i'll see you on my next one bye